Hi guys, it's so dark in here, but once I do that, it's so lit. Eh? Now, um, I will miss my bed. I will really, really, really miss the bed in terms of color because we're about to change the color of the bed and I want it to match the theme I'm going with. So, so the same guy who did that, he's going to take it kidogo a, bit, a little bit lower. The reason that I went with this instead of frames, because I know myself, I will want to change it more often. I will want to, to, to put other stuff there, maybe cute little frames if I'm done with this. Yeah, this is how my bed looks like. This bed has been like this since I got married almost six years ago now and I want to just change the paint. I'm still maintaining my this button detail. I'm still maintaining it but I just want this one changed to something else. Yeah. So this other side we also have the same detailing going on like that side. It's this side. Me, I love my bed. Me, I love this bed. <laughs> and yeah, so I think I need to strip off the beddings and then strip off the mattress protector. And then we can wait for the fundi because he's on his way coming. Sawa. I think, should I say to you, but it's just stripping. I don't think, I think I'll just show you the after. Yeah, I'll show you the after. So, see you guys later. I know the air I'm breathing It's no good for my lungs I do this every season I hate when so... Hi guys, welcome to a new one. My name is Barbara and here we do a lot of lifestyle. And speaking of lifestyle videos, today I want us to do uh, my bedroom. So there's um, a lot has been bought, a lot has uh, been happening over the halls. So right now I want us to, you know, put everything together and get to uh, see how all these things uh, turned out. And I know the halls have been too much, so you've probably lost um, a track or, yeah, you've probably lost track on where we go to what but I want us to first dust off I am done with the floors and I have mopped and I have vacuumed so right now I want us to just clean change the beddings and yeah and it's going to be a pretty much short video yeah we can call it first room done yes and <laughs> I don't know if it's like really 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 done but almost there done so yeah that's it i am so all of the things that have um been happening so i'll put you guys on a time lapse and so the lighting keeps on changing because the weather has just been acting how it's supposed to act so yeah so guys time lapse i need a second to take a breath to keep me guessing with what you say you're in my head We're under pressure We're sinking deep Like stormy weather Can't seem to breathe When you're with me If you're gonna break me I know I won't stay I don't wanna wait here You push me
frustrated It ain't enough To fix a love If you're gonna break me I know I won't stay I don't wanna wait Here you push me away If you're gonna choose You don't know what to do I don't wanna lose you But I don't wanna lose me
many many hours later i'm even sweating it's been more like two hours but this video you know it's going to be a very short video but let me show you the end product let me just go to the door and then come back and show you how this place looks like okay so ladies and gentlemen my master bedroom i need a second to take a breath to keep me guessing with what you say you're in my head we're under pressure we're sinking deep like stormy weather can't seem to breathe from the door as you come into that the master bedroom this is the master bathroom and washroom so i put this basket here to just catch up things this is thrifted there's also a mat here when you are dressing up the mirror is locally made i just made it from my fundi this is how the dresser looks like so the m symbolizes um you know my husband's surname a little catch tray over here my car keys uh remote organizer the flowers are from stage market the vase is a thrift this is the tv that we used to have in my living room so we brought it here we have the 65 inch in my living room so so when you come to this hide immediately my dresser is also locally made i locally made this together with the bedside the carpet was the one that was in the living room so i got this one i got a new one for the living room and i got this one to the bedroom next to it is this basket that i thrifted in gikomba if you follow my stories you know about this one plus the laundry one my four tree is from china square the one in karen going to the my side of bedside this is a real book this is what i'm reading getting institutions right for women in development so this is the book i'm reading up here is just this bedside lamp that i got from okadeko clock is from china square so is the diffuser and the little plant so that is how my side is looking like nothing much in here are my personal belongings moving to this side this is the wardrobe basically everything in here is for hubby mine are in the office so yeah he's socks vest clothes as in everything is in here except for the top where it's a story for another day suitcases this side i know i didn't show you uh these are his stuff sorry these are his stuff 
and this one is from stage market I also need to put batteries over there the tiny three ones I don't have it for now and my curtains it's a total transformation I had to come low because I'm facing the light my curtain is from Isili if you follow my holes you know I got this one and then the shear is a thrift from Gikomba perfect fit for the bedroom this side of the bedside is my husband's side nothing much the the lamb from Oka these ones from what do you call uh, China Square this one is from China Square this is a thrift this is my candle my son broke the you know the holder it was glass and then this is sleep doing the reading in the morning and at night before we go to bed the drawers story for another day his stuff I'm not going to go into details about it the frame the black frame is from China Square uh, the print I got it along Koja so that is I printed the the artwork for 300 each for a two size my mirror is a leftover mirror from the larger mirror so i had him cut these things and then just screwed them but i think i think i'll have to you know squeeze it kidogo at the end and put a nice cute little frame that's my idea if not get a new mirror for this side so the wall art is i've been having this frame for the longest uh, at inside it's a diy i used cement and paint so that is how the place looks like same applies to that side and this side you can actually see the cut and sew well yes that is how they look like if i move it this side kidogo that is it my light fixtures yes uh, from power max the master bed my bed is a six by six it's i had it a while back when i got married i had it made from a guy in gong road it was initially black i painted it white so that it matches some of the things yeah mostly my beddings and yeah it was initially more dark but I painted it white to be more brighter. And all my beddings, I got them from Unico. You can follow them. I thrifted the duvet from Gikomba. This one is from Unico. Yes, everything is from Unico. The beddings, the chopped pillows, the one that you chop here inside, they are called feather inserts also got them from unico you can have them from there i have plugged you everything basically that is everything i think i have plugged you everything guys so so guys that's it for this video that's it for the bedroom upgrades and the bedroom reveal what we have been buying over time so if i could mention all the beddings are from unico the uniqueness collection official it's on instagram so if you've reached up to the end of this video don't forget to rate me down in the comment section of how i did it yeah how it all turned out give me your suggestions on what i should add what i should remove and i'll put your suggestion in my so i'll see you guys in my next video which we are doing uh the guest uh bathroom and the corridor area those are my kids and so that's it for this video thank you so much guys for watching i'll be sure to catch you guys in my next one so until then bye